Okay guys, uh, for this video, uh, we're going to make some splice connection as requested by our one of our uh, subscriber. Okay, let's go. For the splice connection, we are going to prepare it on the beam to pose it to elements, two beams. So, let's start it. First, we're going to make a reference plane for this one and copy by 10 milli align so that this is 10 the graph of two beams okay. <coughs> now as you can see on the 3d models this is the uh, two beams that we're going to prepare some splice connection okay so connection then splice joint click this one click this one then enter see it will show like this what are we going to do is check the operate instances and edit first we're going to see if this web and both branches this is fine 5 5 set equals to 10 okay so for the welds uh, we're not going we're not uh, going anything on this side so we're going to the web web plates both bolted and distance from the they said that show and see it's not on the uh in the center so we're going to find on the center for that one just make it 85 85 okay so take it in the center now and we will go to the distance so make it this 35 only the one this is the one the two is make this 75 3 is fine, 40 and 4 make this 35 the 5 make this 75 and 6 make this 35 7, 75 and 8 is fine, 40 ok and for the bolts make this um, ASTM A325 uh, A34 this is 2, this is 2 not with the uh, washer it's, uh, it means this NAW it means it's not end washer now and bolt connection outside uh, ok for now we are going to the plunge top plunge tape Punch top. Okay, okay, okay. This one. This is okay. Then really, the bolt, bolt row. One. Bolt, bolt, bolt. Bolt. Make this uh, bolt, bolt, bolted. Yeah, you see the bolt will come up on the on the joint. If you if you select this one, bolt welded. So that means the plate is welded on the top of the plunge. If you choose bolt bolted and we put some plates under inside so we'll just adjust and make this 60 and the bolt row the bolt row will become 35 and make this uh, 100 yeah 
So I think this is fine now. So that's it. We are now prepared the the splice uh, connection for the beams and I hope you follow what we did and apply it to your project so oh, one more connection we are going to prepare <clears throat> uh, for the one for this and this one we're going to make some shear so connection find it here shear shear plate disconnect connect enter and yep no <laughs> Yeah. So that's it, and pure uh, copy, create similar, and apply to this one. To this one. Yep. Okay. Thank you guys and hope you like this video. See you in the next tutorial. Thanks.